So what exactly was that Bible verse we mentioned yesterday that changed the course of human history? Well, it's this verse right here. It's Romans 1 and 17. For in it, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, but the just shall live by faith. In other words, what changed the world was the saving gospel of Jesus Christ. During the Dark Ages, the church taught that in order to be saved, you had to buy your salvation, work for your salvation, or do some penance or go on some pilgrimage, all in an attempt to prove to God that you were worth saving. In other words, you were not saved by faith, but by your works. Added to this, people were taught that the only way you could get to heaven, well, it was through the church. This meant that you had to financially support the church, obey the church, and worship what, how, and when the church, well, it told you to worship. There was no salvation apart from the church. So imagine Luther's amazement and surprise when he learned that none of that was true. Instead, he discovered that salvation wasn't found in praying to the saints or kissing the ring of a bishop or confessing your sins to a priest. That forgiveness couldn't be bought through the giving of offerings or the purchase of an indulgence. Nor could you wipe away your sin by beating yourself with a whip or crawling on your hands and knees. And it certainly wasn't tied to how good a Catholic you were. The entire Protestant Reformation is based on this one idea and this idea alone, that salvation is based on Christ and Christ alone. As they poured over the scriptures, they were amazed by what it cost Christ to save us, by how determined God is to save every man, woman, and child, and even more, that while this salvation cost God everything, it cost the sinner nothing that in forgiving our sin, God took our sin and gave it to Jesus, and in its place, he gave us Christ's righteousness. We didn't have to work for it or earn it. We received it through faith. God used the gospel of Jesus Christ to set Luther free, and in turn, God worked through Luther to set the world free, a protest and a proclamation that changed the world. And that was our nugget for today. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow.